Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. The reason that I claim and profess to be that spokesman, I'm not being paid for that by any organization. It is a position that I claim. I claim it because it represents me. It represents me. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I have several miracles and that and those miracles made a difference between the old Eddie and the Eddie after the miracles. You see, before the miracles, everything was all connected one way or another, physical. But after the miracles, I began to recognize that there are things that you can't see that exist just as well. And I call that spiritual. And out of that, I saw an expression of love, which taught me something. That that power, that power, wherever, I can't put a hand on it. I can't call it man. I don't know what it is. I just know that it's wonderful. And so when I speak for basic human rights, I'm talking about what I require to be fulfilled in this life. And I turn that around and I look at you, the people of the world, and I say you require no less. And on that, I recognize that you came on this earth with purpose. I see it in the miracles that you yourselves have performed on this earth that you're here. And I see it being essential for the production of the goods and services that we, the people, have determined as absolutely essential for our well-being. I recognize that all of the resources used to produce this comes from that same power that I saw that miracle from. And that tells me that there's a power outside of us that's in control of what's going on. And as long as that power is, got to give it, got to give it respect, got to give it respect. And so, what I understand, ladies and gentlemen, is this: that we, as human beings on this earth, came here to be as that power that we cannot see. We came here to be magnificent. We came here to be wonderful. We came here to be amongst the creative forces, like trees and rivers, just as dynamic. Oh, I've even heard more dynamic that we, my friends, would experience our wants, our needs, and our desires. That we live with peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness and our dreams are lived, not dreams any longer. I mean, all of this is here, is here. And what is the purpose for me to step back in the darkness where people still believe in God, but not knowing God? You see, beliefs can take you all everywhere. You hear people say, I'm not a Christian. I'm this, I'm that, and that. All of this is because you believe it. You don't know anything that's truthful. You know it's not truthful because you're living in hell. You're living in hell. And yet you want to project yours as being the representation of the truth. And you ask yourself, how far are you willing to go to substantiate the reality of it? You say, I'll pick up my guns, I'll fight, I'll take it. No, anybody can do that. Regardless of your belief, you can do that. But how many of you will lay down your life representative of what you believe? I mean, you can do that too. But look, you sold your souls already just trying to keep living. So we know you're not going to lay down your life. You'll lay down your life if somebody persuades you. You know, evil. You know what it's all about because you exist on lying and cheating and stealing and killing, creating poverty, crime and violence, racism and bigotry, and all of that on the foundation that you don't need one another. All you need is money. You got money, you can do anything, and it's taking you straight to hell. And people who believe in everything going right with you. But my job is to stand here and say these things to you. Anybody suffering, if you can't see that as you suffering, you're not going to do anything about it. And why don't you see that as you suffering? Because you don't know love. You believe in stuff. Believe in that money has replaced God. And people out here trying to say, we're atheists, we don't believe in God. I don't blame them for not believing in that crap you're talking because you're not walking it. If you were walking it, you'd know. And even though you are, you just don't recognize the role that you're playing in it. 
you're blaming everybody else. But I want America to know that the Republicans got no answer. That crap Donald Trump and his folks are talking about is from the pit of hell. But don't be laughing at that because we're all coming and living right in the pit of hell. And we're headed deeper unless we wake up. The stuff that the Democrats, is it going to relieve that suffering? Is it going to relieve that pain? Is it going to make sure that you're going to have the unlimited education? Unlimited, unrestricted health care? Careers of choice that guarantees you the greatest joy? Any of them going to do that? Is any politician talking about it? And why aren't they talking about it? That's not the question. The question is, why aren't you expecting it? Why aren't you requiring it? Sitting around here talking about getting guns, hating What's wrong? We're lost in sin because we don't know the truth. The truth of love, if you knew it, you think about all of those yachts and you think about all those wonderful things that you could have, but you turn it down because there's somebody that's suffering. And if you got that, that means suffering is okay and you ain't going for that. So I just want to leave that with you, ladies and gentlemen, because you know, sometimes... I wake up, I'm getting kind of old now. I don't feel good every day. Sometimes I wonder, will I wake up tomorrow? And if I don't, what's going to happen to my brothers, my sisters? I know there'll be others. But what about you? Thank you.